Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So recently I have had loads of requests from you guys on how I make my overnight oats and if I can give you guys lots of different recipes. So I thought today I would just do a whole video on overnight oats. So I love, love, love overnight oats. We literally have them for breakfast like five times a week because they are so quick and easy. You do them the night before, like you prep everything the night before. So when you come down in the morning, you take them out of the fridge and they're ready to eat and they are absolutely delicious. I actually much prefer it to having normal porridge in the morning. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show you the products that I love using at the moment for my overnight oats. For the kids, I just use regular kind of Quaker oats. But for Chris and I, we are loving Wildson at the moment. And this is overnight oats and it is absolutely delicious. It has loads of like nuts and seeds and like dried fruit in there. And I promise you guys, it is so nice. Yes, yeah, so every night I will do four little jam jars and pop them in the fridge of each of our overnight oats. When we come down in the morning, the boys just add some extra honey or whatever they want to do. And it is so good. So if you guys are wanting like a little treat in the morning and needs like a little pick me up, a little bit of kind of like chocolate, then this is what I would suggest. It is hazelnut and cacao chocolate spread. For those of you that know, I am doing a detox at the moment and I'm not allowed sugar. So obviously chocolate spread is banned for me. Not this one. All it's got in it is roasted hazelnuts, some dates, some sunflower seeds, some roasted cashew nuts and some cacao. So it's absolutely perfect for me to have. So basically what I'm gonna do now is just get my jam jars and I'm gonna show you guys four different overnight oats that you can make that you will love. Right, so to start off, I've just got these little jam jars. I've just kept these from when we've had jam before and they are like the perfect pot because they have their own little lid. So you just pop it on and they are the best things to keep in your fridge. So you wanna start off by adding your oats. So I'm gonna make two pots of overnight oats with this Wildson porridge and another two pots which will be for the boys and I will just use some Quaker porridge. Right, so next up it's time to add some milk. I'll be using my oatly milk as I'm not having dairy at the moment and I fill it just past the porridge line. Now for the boys, I will just use normal full fat milk. So in one of the pots, I'm gonna add some Wildson organic milled flaxseed. That is really good for you when you're on a detox. Some chia seeds, some desiccated coconut and some frozen pomegranate seeds. How good does that one look? For my next pot, I am gonna add some chia and flaxseed sprinkles. I'm also gonna add some Wildson chocolate spread and a spoonful of Alpro yogurt. This pot is definitely Chris's favorite. Right, next up for the boys' pots, I'm gonna do one with the banana and chocolate spread. I think they're gonna absolutely love that. And a little spoon of yogurt to make it a bit creamier. For the last boys' pot, Jamie loves kiwi, so I'm gonna put kiwi in his and a spoonful of honey. So I hope those four recipes gave you a bit of inspiration. If you guys are interested in the Wildson products and they are available on Amazon, I will link them below. Or I will also link their website because they have given me a discount code of 15%. You just need to write KerryW15 at checkout in the gift voucher bit and you will get 15% off. But I will link everything below so you guys can see. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye.